I try not to know anything about the, the project I'm working on, whether it be short stories or a novel that I'm, I'm trying to tackle now. Um, I feel as though the more you think you know at the beginning of, of writing the project, the more you have to throw out when you really get into it. That if you let the clever, cold architect of your mind try to tell you what the story's about, then it keeps your characters from coming alive. I, I think that the only way to make a story or a book work is to, to spend a, a lot of time with your characters and in, in, in the place that you're trying to discover. But too much knowledge of forethought, I think, is really toxic. I, I try hard in my fiction to have neither good guys nor bad guys. I think that I think that people want to do well, and they often do ill against their their their, their better impulses. But I, I think people are people are both that we're we're good and bad, and and, and the world is full of all sorts of mixed ambitions and impulses and I, I try to I try to get that across in my fiction journalism calls for a completely different approach and a different set of tools and actually when I started writing doing a lot of, of magazine work it really messed up my process on, on writing short stories when you're writing a, a big magazine feature what you do is go out and spend a few weeks reporting and then it's uh, sort of sifting through huge batches of notes and finding scenes or moments that you think uh, would be of interest to a reader and then you come up with some kind of contextual argument for why they're reading the thing. And, uh, it, and for a while I was trying to do that with short fiction where I would generate you know, a 70 or 80 word, 80 page draft and hope to cook that down to you know, 15 or 20 pages. And it never worked, it just fell apart. But with a short story, it, it all has to come from the same emotional place. I think there has to be a kind of unity of intention with a short story. You can't just kind of go back and cobble something together uh, out of a bunch of kind of broken mosaic tiles that are scattered around. The magazine work has informed the short stories. I, I steal from it all the time that there will be characters that wound up on the cutting room floor uh, when I was doing a magazine piece who, who wander into into stories I've written, you know, maybe it's snippets of dialogue or, you know, fully fledged characters or, or anecdotes that I picked up when I was out in the field. But yeah, it's, it's been a great trove of, uh, uh, of stuff for the short stories. Yeah, I, I think we, we may see in, in uh, future fiction some of the characters I met when I was reporting the, the Homeless World Cup here in Melbourne. Um, it's a guy I met who I spent a lot of time with who is a, uh, had been a methamphetamine cook for years, and he had he was just a fantastic storyteller, and spoke so charmingly about his own life. And I, I, I must have taken I don't know 15 hours of oral history from this guy. It's you know, many, many dozens of pages, and it's and it's all great stuff. So I'm sure I will exploit it. <laughs>